Hi ladies and gentlemen, it is Cornet, today is the 11th of August 2016. Um, let's look at the trades I took today. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 trades and 7 wins, 3 losses. So let's go and look at the trades I took. Alright, this one, let's first, this one was the first trade I took this morning. Um, the trend is down, very important, I only gonna take puts. Um, I look, this is a 30 minute bar, so look at the 30 minute for the price, we're looking at this bar. I notice this bar as it happens, um, there's a round number, the round number is 0 0.7, 0.7000, doesn't matter. Um, price, you can see, it was an important price, hit it here, bounce up. Hit it again, goes up, hit it again, and we have a swing here, a swing high. Um, indicate for me, by respect the trend, this round number price when I go down. And I was looking at this bar, that bar here. And once I see it here, at this round number and the resistance area, I go to the one minute and see if I can spot the setup. Let's look what happened on the one minute. This was a loss. Okay, on the one minute, um, this blue line, this is where that black indicator is, was, of is, when this happened. I noticed that rejection, this respect here, and then I look, does it qualify on MACD? On MACD, remember we want to see a bunch of green bars above the zero line. You see here, all of them is green, 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 green. And as it hit that resistance area, that round number, um, I see the price retrace back here, yeah? you see, so it's a bunch of green bars, one red bar, and as this bar opens, this dot line, I'll take a put for um, 10 minutes, and take a put in, and you can see the price didn't go up, it went up, so this one was a loss, so let's look at the next one, okay, um, this one, what happened here? Alright, here, same thing, price went down. Uh, I look at this, we have a swing, you can see price went up, it make a swing here. And then, um, I noticed there's a pin there, there's another pin, indicate another swing there. I was looking at this bar, as this bar came very close to the swing, more or less here. I look what happened on the one minute. So on the one minute, what I saw there, let's go to that. On the one minute, um, just get all this stuff right. So on the one minute, we see again I have a bunch of green bars on top of the zero line, and as it comes to the resistance line, there is a red bar going down. As this bar open, I take a ten minute put. Now let's look what happened here. You can see that uh, first condition is that blue line. This is where the black indicator is. Um, we have a retracement leaving the MACD red. And I enter the put for 10 minutes and it was a loss. Okay, let's go to the next one. Alright, what the... Okay, this... What, um, let's look at this one. What... Oh man, what happened here? No idea. Where is uh, where is the thirty minute? All right, doesn't matter. Bottom line is very simple. You can see um, black indicator retrace back. Look at MACD. We have a bunch of very nice one. Oh, look at this nice one. Very nice green bars on top of a zero line. One red one. As this bar um, open at the dot, I take a 10 minute put. And look here. 10 minute put. Enter the, in the, in the money. Okay, let's go to the next one. Um, on the next one. Okay, first I'm going to show you the 30 minute. And then we look at the, the one minute. On the 30 minute, this is how it looks. Um, you can see the price 
came down under the 21 moving average came coming down indicator want to go down i look at this bar it's try to happen this bar i realize we have a resistance here um we have another swing low day as this bar came here it have to go through the 21 uh, the moving average as well as a mid band all of those are resistance very big bar as it come to this swing here i look what happened on the one minute let me go to the one minute on the one minute so i first look for obstruction on the 30 minute and then i'm looking for a setup the setup is price must hit that black indicator which happened as it happened i look at macd let's go to macd i want want to see a bunch of green bars above a zero then a red bar there it is and as this bar open i'll take um 10 minute put this is a rsi it's a red indicate also is overbought or so sometimes i look at it but not always um, and you can see here as that bar open take a 10 minute put starting there ending there in the money let's go to the next one all right we've what we have what do we have here it looks like first a 30 minute setup let's look at it very important the trend is down you could see very simple it's down um, looking at this bar i see this bar have a pin we have a swing here price came here couldn't go lower it goes up so swing is resistance and as this price come to the swing here yeah i look what happened to um, the one minute let's go to that point remember when that 30 minute come to that resistance area it was bullish so don't think yes man it's not gonna work it's bullish it won't retrace this is where why you use a one minute so on the one minute price have to come to the black indicator uh, here it is and then um, i'm looking for the price want to see a bunch of green bars on top of a zero then one red bar that's a setup the next bar i enter a put for 10 minutes now look here um, this price was so close it didn't touch that green one maybe maybe you could wait for this another setup i enter here 10 bars and it was a uh, win but even you so well it must first touch it then you would properly enter here let me look at it again you see you would you will say there's another green bar that's a red one i will enter at this bar so always safe wait for it first to touch it okay 30 minutes 30 minutes on the 30 minute we're looking make sure the trend is down you can see on the top price is coming down look at the bands is coming down make a wave going further down and then i was looking at this bar as this bar came to this area i noticed we have a swing here um old resistance there um also the mid band is resistance also the 21 is um, resistance remember when this bar was here it looked like this it was a bull bar so i noticed we have a bull bar at this resistance at it or just above it that's what i'm looking for if it's above it it's even better and then for the first time i go to the one minute and i'm looking for that setup setup on a one minute first thing i want to see a one minute bar touch this indicator this black indicator you can see that one touch it and as it touch it i look at macd does macd qualify to qualify i want to see a bunch of green bars a red bar the next bar i enter but why did i enter on this one let me show you why because the touch happened on this bar you see on that bar and not on this bar so I wait for the touch and as the touch happened um, on this bar it was red on the MACD and this was I entered the 10 minutes and the, the, the trade okay let's go to the next one I'm rush it because this thing can only be called 15 minutes and then it stops this one was a bad trade the trend was actually upwards you see 
Then price came down. This, I will say this, this area here is telling me it's still down. But then it breaks it. But the reason I decided to take the trade is I notice it's outside the bands. Um, I look at this bar of a pin uh, as a resistance that swing as a pin. And as price come to this level, I think when price come first to this level here, when the first bull bar was then at this pin, I think this is where, where I enter. So that was against the trend, it's an uptrend, not a downtrend. I'm looking for a downtrend. Very simple decision I make here, and it was a loss. Enter the close the loss, and if you look at MACD, beautiful setup, bunch of green bars, a red bar. This is what I'm looking for here. I enter, but the 30 minute must be in a downtrend, not in an uptrend. My mistake here, one loss. Okay, 30 minute. I think this is the last one. Let's look at this. Okay, let's look at this. All right, you can see first look at the trend is down. You see, guys, price is coming down. You can see even here price can come here, respect this trend line, making a swing uh, high, coming down. This bar came back to the swing here, and as it come back, I was looking at this bar. So well, we have some resistance here. Now I'm looking for a setup on the one minute. Going to the one minute. And the rules are as follow. Let me make it a little bit bigger. The rules are the first rule is the one minute must touch this black indicator, which it did. So you can see it touch it, and as it touch it, then all close doesn't matter. I want to see a bunch of green bars above the zero line, but and one bar after it's been touched must be red. And the very next bar, which is this dot line, I enter a put there for 10 minutes. Very simple. So you enter there, one bar for 10 bars now. That's it. So yeah, that was the trades I took today. Uh, 10 trades, 7 wins, 3 losses.